So it's lunch time. Let's make lunch. So here I have all the ingredients for my salmon. Um, this is um, coho salmon and uh, wild. Uh, so let's see if I'm on the right track. Let's weigh it and see how it goes. 750 and 685. So um, usually you have three ounce portions, so you have about almost four portions here. But, you know, you can always eat some extra protein, so it's not a problem. I washed and dried, paper uh, dried the salmon, so now you're going to marinate it with some fresh lime juice. And the grill is on, so it will be hot and ready to go when this is done. And I like fresh limes. I just think anything fresh is better. But if you can use lime juice that comes in those little containers. Because I use them too. So I'm just going to do some sea salt. Just give it that flavor. And fresh ground white pepper. And... It's just one thing that I do. I poke <laughs> the salmon with the fork so I get the lime juice to really enter the fish because it tastes really good. Now we're gonna throw some basil. I'm out of my fresh basil, so we're gonna we're gonna use dried basil. And base is always so good. And let's see. I zested this lemon zest <laughs> prior, so they're fresh. They probably stay fresh for like a week or so. Yeah, they're really, really good. And uh, just sprinkle some in niche fillet. And voila, I usually let it, the fish rest for about 10 minutes so it can observe the flavors. Looks really pretty, doesn't it? I hope you guys can see it. <laughs> so let's wait and um, 10 minutes and I'll put this in the grill. See how the lemon juice kind of cooks the fish a little, right? See the discoloration, and that's the lime juice observed by the fish. So, so let's spray a little oil, cooking oil, cooking spray, um, so it won't get on stick. And we put gently on the grill. And um, I put like a medium high to start off with, but then I kind of um, turned back down to like a medium. So let's just wait. And I flipped um, the fish a little so we have a little grill. Um, mark on it. But you gotta be really careful otherwise you get all the crust out, which I probably did on this one. And there. And then to make um, the fish tender and moisture, I add a little bit of the lime juice. Here.
looks pretty good. So you're gonna leave a little bit longer. Uh, I reduced the heat, so it's about lower. I'll leave it on to five minutes on. And here we go. This is perfect. If you can see it on the side here, see that like white, that stuff is the lime juice there. And that's meaning that it's ready. It looks pretty. And I'm sure it tastes amazing. Come on. So here is how we're going to do the mashed potatoes. Um, I use entire cauliflower and I already took the greens out and I use about a quart um, pan and I use the organic vegetable broth and what I did, this is like a four cups so I used two, there was two, it was half, so two of uh, the broth and two with the water because it reduces the sodium so if you don't want you know so what we do now is just kind of break them little I call little white trees because they look like trees um, right, let's. It doesn't matter if you put them in big chunks, but I, ooh, I just think that helps to cook faster. And I believe I should have used a bigger pan, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so we got pretty much all the cauliflower here. And now we leave it on high. Covered, a little covered. Oh, hi. And let it cook for about 10 15 minutes or until tender. Actually, cook until it's really, really tender so it's easier to smash it. And let's finish mashed potatoes. I, it's really soft. Where's my fork go? Um, it's pretty soft now, really tender. And I'm putting the food processor. I drained the juice, uh, the a, um, broth out of it. And, um, <coughs> now we add some sea salt. Not much, just to kind of moisture a little bit. And let's kind of pulse a little or you can kind of green a little. But this is how it looks like. Looks like mashed potatoes without the potato carbs. Mmm. It's actually really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's um finish up and I'll show you my final product.